A coalition of over 80 Zimbabwean organizations has blasted their government for hosting King Mswati III at the weekend. The Eswatini leader was in Zimbabwe on a state visit. But the crisis in Zimbabwe coalition says he's a human rights violator who has terrorized the people of Eswatini. ENCA correspondent Pindai Dube sent us this report. Hundreds of ZANU-PF supporters thronged Robert Gabriel Mugabe Airport to welcome King Muswati III. However, crisis in Zimbabwe coalition group says he is a despot who is not welcome in Zimbabwe. It says his autocratic rule has resulted in hundreds being arrested, tortured and jailed, and points to the recent murder of a human rights lawyer Tulani Maseko. It is a shame that our head of state has decided to join the elite club of dictators. He has been di dining with all dictators that are known for brutalizing their people. Muskwati has killed advocate uh, Tulani Maseko. Sadak called on Muskwati to institute investigations into the murder of Tulani Maseko. Nothing has been done to date. No suspects have been brought to, jail to, to the book. Uh, Muskwati has blood on his hands. He has shot people on the streets. He is refusing to open up democratic space in Swaziland. Zimbabwe is not a safe haven for despots. We don't entertain despots in Zimbabwe. But the ZANU-PF leaders who welcomed King Muswati at the airport said he is the chosen leader of the people of Eswatini. Uh, these confused members of the oppositions who want to choose for everyone, uh, they are totally confused. Our president is not a human rights violator and the, uh, His Excellency who has come here is equally not a human rights violator. Our president associates with the Democrats, but he also reaches out to those who are um, despotic for them to become democratic. He's a friend to everyone. The people of Eswatini have a right to choose the way they want to be led. During his visit, Muswati also attended the Continental Transform Africa Conference in Victoria Falls. Pindai Harare.